Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a crispy ragi dosha recipe made with sprouted ragi flour. It's a perfect healthy breakfast for the whole family. This ragi dosha batter can also be used to make soft spongy ragi idlis. The reason why I share fermented foods for breakfast, especially millets like ragi, is that they are a good source of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 plays a crucial role in iron absorption. Low hemoglobin levels are always a factor with irregular periods, tiredness, high body fat levels, headaches and poor appetite. Studies show that 1 out of 2 women in India suffers from anemia. Iron deficiency is the most common cause of anemia. If you have iron deficiency anemia, try to cook at least one of your meal in a cast iron cookware for better iron absorption. Naturally fermented foods like dosha and idli should be included in your diet especially if you have health issues like PCOS, diabetes, thyroid or simply if you want to include whole grains in your weight loss journey. So let's get started with the recipe. Now I'm making this batter at night for the next day's breakfast. So by around 7 pm I'm adding in 1 third cup urad dal into a bowl and I'm adding in some water along with 1.5 teaspoon methi seeds also known as fenugreek seeds. I'm soaking it for about 30 minutes. Into another bowl I'm adding in 1 cup ragi flour. I'm using sprouted ragi flour in this recipe. Ragi is also known as nachni in Hindi. Sprouted ragi is rich in calcium. Sprouting ragi increases iron content by almost 10 times. It increases levels of B12, antioxidants, proteins and sprouting also helps in easy digestion. The buying link of the organic sprouted ragi flour will be updated below this video. Add in 1 cup water and mix the ragi flour well and keep this aside. After 30 minutes, wash and rinse the urad dal and methi seeds and transfer it to a blender jar. Add in 1 third cup water. Now for easy fermentation, I am adding in 2 tablespoon cooked rice. I am using single polished Kerala red rice. However, you can use any variety of cooked rice of your choice or you can also use soaked poha. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed and grind this to a fine batter. Then add in the ragi mix and pulse a couple of times so that the ragi and the urad dal are nicely mixed and blended. Pour the blended batter into a bowl, cover and keep it to ferment overnight. Note that I am not using an airtight lid. We need the wild airborne yeast to help with the fermentation process. So do not cover the lid tightly. And the next day morning the batter is nicely fermented and you can see that the batter is light, fluffy and airy. Perfect to make idli or dosha. Now to make doshas, heat a cast iron tower and grease it with gingerly oil. Then reduce the flame to the lowest, pour in one and a half ladle full of the batter and spread it out as thinly as possible. Drizzle in half teaspoon desi ghee and then flip it over. The addition of desi ghee helps in better assimilation of vitamins and minerals in ragi. So do not skip it. If on a vegan diet, you can use wood pressed or virgin coconut oil. Flip it over and once done, crispy, crunchy, sprouted ragi dosha is ready to serve. You can see how crispy the dosha is. I am serving it with fresh moringa leaves chutney and amla pickle. Did you know that pickles made in the traditional way is a good source of gut friendly probiotics? The Moringa chutney recipe is already on my channel. Please do check it out. So guys do try this crispy and healthy sprouted ragi dosha and let me know how it turned out. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.